Filmmaker Harvey Weinstein is battling to save his reputation and his career amid detailed allegations. He spent decades preying on aspiring actresses, pushing them, among many other things, to watch him shower. Well, in response to this report, first published in the New York Times, a long list of supposed feminists are teaming up to protect Harvey Weinstein, who also happens to be a major donor to the Democratic Party. Weinstein himself says he's planning to sue the New York Times for some reason. He ran a pseudo-apology today. He pledged to take out his anger on the NRA, an organization that, of course, has nothing to do with his history with actresses. Radio show host Tammy Bruce has been following the story. She joins us now. I, I guess the thing that I can't control myself, the thing that jumps down to me, asking people to watch him take a shirt. If you did a poll of 160 million American women and asked, would you like to see Harvey Weinstein take a shower? How many would say yes? I'm guessing like right around zero. Yeah, exactly. So he's asking them to do the thing that really no one really wants to do anyway. I mean, this is, this is awful. Uh, and the problem here is when it comes to his position and why he was really protected for so long. People are now coming out and saying this was not even a secret that he was Tommy Vitor, who was yeah. a, an aide to Barack Obama, said it oh, was yeah. a well-known issue. And yet this is a man who was in the, in the White House 13 times with the Obamas, was a bundler for Barack Obama, close to seven hundred thousand uh, dollars. Their daughter interned at his company with now with what we know, which was supposedly now extremely well known to everyone. Why would you have such a close relationship? And let me let me say a lot of Democrats are are saying they're going to be giving their money to other Democrat groups. They're 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 not returning it. But he got about two hundred sixty nine thousand dollars he gave to the DNC. They're only returning or distributing out thirty thousand of that. But Hillary Clinton, a woman who is married to a man effectively with no pants, considering his history, is she was so cozy with him. She has been silent once again. So uh, for me, I worked on their campaign in 1992, Tucker, the Clinton campaign in California. Uh, I'm a feminist. It is time for Hillary Clinton to say something and not just how awful sexual harassment is. We all understand that, certainly. She needs to call him out specifically, but he's not the only problem. This is a problem throughout that industry and an industry that is effectively uh, uh, funded her campaign, the Obamas and, and liberal Washington and liberal groups for at least a quarter of a century, if not longer. And it wasn't just actresses, Tucker. It was staff members. It was assistants. Right. It was everybody who could, he could get near, apparently, according to that New York Times report. But what, what's so frustrating to watch is the cynicism at the core of his response, buying this moral cover, purchasing the services of Lisa Bloom, who provides some kind of feminist government show, apparently just whatever, she's for sale. Um, but, but then also pledging to spend his time going after the NRA as if that kind of obviates his sins, makes up for all this stuff. And, but it looks like it does. It, it looks does. like that's enough for liberals. Look, this is what's probably shocking to him. It's been fine for decades. And I would say his opening statement in his uh, so supposed apology, uh, many of us thought it was a, a joke, was that he said that I grew up in the 60s and 70s. This was the culture then. And in other words, all of them do it, that this was a cultural dynamic. And the, the interesting thing is he's right. But that was in a way a shot to everyone else saying we all do it. I know we do. And at the very end, he was really making a plea for, look, You've been fine all these years. I have money. I can make an impact. I'll give my money to you. Uh, and so what? Look, give me a pass. Right. That's what he was saying. And he's saying it because that's what's been happening. There are a few women who can condemn this and, and the passes that he's received, the, the free bill he's received. And that includes Hillary Clinton. But she has been a fraud from the beginning. This is why women were always cautious about her, not just because of her husband's behavior, yes. but the choices that she's made in the process. It's, a, it's all fake. Michelle Obama called him a wonderful person. She, Michelle well, Lisa Obama's Bloom got... on and to explain why she's representing him, but I doubt she's brave enough to yeah. come on. Tammy, thanks a lot for joining us. Thanks for Appreciate having me.